I see the first comment. Hello. Welcome. This is going to be a live. Can wait. Um, I'm just waiting on summer people to join so I can start giving you the tour of my new room. So thanks for being here. I'm also trying to download the app on my other phone so I can um, read comments and then just have on this phone just me showing you around while I can read your um, comments on the other one. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'll try. Hello. Okay, so I am noticing just now that um, the comments don't pop up on these, but I can see them on my other phone. So it's just kind of weird because I'm just staring at myself twice. <laughs> um, so I don't really know. Let's see. Simply Rocks is here. Hi, Lisa. Okay, I see the comments now. I have not turned them on. I'm new to these, so forgive me. Um, I think I'm gonna set this other phone aside just a minute. Alright, so we have five people. I don't really know how many of, um, of you to expect here today because I never did a live before. Um, so I might just give it three more minutes or so and we'll get started. So if you have any questions in a specific while I'm doing the tour and you want to ask me about a certain item or anything, just um, let me know in the chat so I can maybe talk a little bit more about it. Otherwise, I think it will be like a general overview, but at the same time, I can go in details if you want. So. We're going to do that. I hope my phone don't die. I have a charger ready. And yeah, we'll do this. Um, I don't really know what to say in the meantime. But if I didn't say hi, just hello everyone. Um, and you know me by now. I'm Brenda. And since last year, I feel like a lot of things change. My nail room is pretty much the same I just like move things around and I originally have more polishes now I have been trying also to get rid of some polishes uh, especially if they are very similar because I don't do comparisons so there is no point for me to keep polishes that are very alike and usually I would just give those to a friend or someone asked me on Instagram looking for free nail polishes uh, I will give those to someone who willing to pay for shipping pretty much so yeah all right so I don't know there is only four of us but it's been five minutes and I'm ready to get started so let's just do it I'm gonna start with the boring part not boring but the less exciting part which is where I am standing right now I'm sure you have seen this setup before uh, this is where I film my YouTube videos and as you can see it is uh, hanging from the ceiling and this is actually a picture backdrop that I received for review a long time ago for like two years but it has been really helpful I have it against this wall which is um, the elevator door is behind it I have talked about this in my previous video but our house has an elevator so um, I don't use it to come up here because Honestly, the steps not like there is that many, so that's that. Uh, let me show you the entrance. I don't know. I have to move the light around, but so that's the door to the nail room, and I here have a shelf that I'm still working on. I want to paint that black to match everything else in the room. Um, 
let me show you what I have in here. So as I said on my Instagram, Selena's sleeping now, so I'm watching her. Her bedroom is right next to my nail room, so if she, I'm being too loud, I can see. So, you know, hoping that she just stays sleep throughout the video. Um, all right, so we're just getting started for those of you who uh, just joined. This is the door to my nail room, and we're inside, obviously. Um, I have all my glitters in here. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love these acrylic containers. And I honestly don't even know what this is meant for, but it just fits my glitters perfectly. I also have some powders, which these are things that I honestly don't use that often, but they look so cute on display. So that's where they are. And I got a lot of these rhinestones that again, I don't use often. And these ones you would usually see me using during summertime. So that is that. And then below, I just have a bunch of random items. Again, I need to paint this shelf and this is killing me to see it like that, but I just don't got time for that. Uh, there's just bubble wrap in there, nothing exciting. And here I just have water-based polishes because I don't have that many, so I only have these four and a few other polishes that I don't have more of that brand. So it's pretty general, I would say. Uh, we'll move to this wall. You have combed in the nail room. I decided to put that rack in there um, because my goal for this wall, I hope I can get it right, hold on, is that this wall will have all the mainstream polishes, but not really. So there is more for me to show you, so don't want to get ahead of myself, but... Uh, as you can see here, I have all my OPI nail polishes. And this rack just fits them perfectly. I honestly don't buy that many OPI polishes anymore. And I don't know, I've just been getting really into indie polishes. Hi Bianca, welcome. Uh, we're just getting started. So I started with my mainstream wall kind of gave you a quick overview just a few seconds ago. So again, I have lots of OPI nail polishes in here. Most of them are quite old, honestly. I haven't been buying much of the recent collections, so that's where they all stay. And if I need more space, because there's no more space for them in here, I'll take out these toppers, because I have toppers in a different rack, but for now they look cute in there. All right, let's move along. Sorry if it's a little shaky and everything, but I'm also moving my light along so it's not too dark in here. All right, sorry I lost signal there for a minute, but I live in a very rural place. <laughs> Internet connection is kind of poor here, so. Um, okay, so this next rack has all my Essie polish, Soya polishes, and again, even though my goal was for it to be all mainstream brand, I do have some glam polishes in here that didn't fit on the other side, so I have them here now. And over here, I think this will look familiar. First off, let me get this out of the way. Um, so this is a tiny ring light, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but whenever I do Hold on. But whenever I swatch something on my Instagram, I usually have a quick video clip to share with you so you can see the video of the swatch that I have recently posted. So I'll usually post right here. This is usually what you see in the background of my stories. And this light is always here. So that's the only purpose for, for this tiny light. I don't use it to film anything. Sorry, again, losing connection. As I was saying, I think you have seen this before. Um, this is all my China Glaze polishes. And I really like it because there's a lot of room for growth. As you can see, this one right here has more room. And there's also much more room in the back. So I can have a lot more opportunity for growth. I think China Glaze is the mainstream brand that I buy the most. So I can see this rack getting full at some point in 
time. This bottom though has all LA colors. I recently purchased the diamond collection, which is what you have seen. Let me add line here. Which is what you saw in my recent manicure. So we have those. And then I also purchased these neon jellies, which I haven't tried any at all. So that is that. And then we have another uh, wall rack. And this one has all my color club. It has uh, some of the Hello Taco, BCV Lacquers, Loud, and then we also have Treasure Valley Lacquer, who just today released uh, some of these polishes in here. So we'll highly recommend for you to check out. All right, so we pretty much have gone through this wall and the tower. And actually this decorations I got off by below so pretty cool all right so let me show you more actually I don't know about you guys but cube shelves for nail polish storage is one of the best investments you could do this was actually one of the first things that I had even before I had a nail room I used to put all my nail polishes in our bedroom and this was amazing because I could fit so many polishes in there at the time obviously outgrown <laughs> the cube shelf but it's an amazing option and, you know if I one day needed more I could totally fit another one of those on that side and another one on this side so let's get down to this rack again if you have any questions feel, uh, feel free to ask I'll try my best to answer them um, so down here I have mostly gel polishes and few other polish brands. So being a mom can be challenging. I try not to let Selena in this room because obviously she's a two year old and all she wanna do is grab and play with stuff. So if she ever makes it into this room, I wouldn't be sad if she breaks any of my gel polishes because I can clean those up pretty easily. Whether she breaks um, regular nail polishes is going to be a huge mess to clean up. So that's why these are to her reach but again I don't let her come in here alone and almost never she makes it in I usually play with my nail polishes while she's sleeping like right now so I have some mini size gel polishes which you all know I love mini size polishes whether they are gel or if they are regular I have more in here and I think you're following me here but the symmetry is like pretty important in here I do have a lot of Billy Beauty polishes in here and any other polish that has um, white caps and also polishes that are cheap. So again, if Selena breaks any of those polishes, I'll be fine. I have more gel polishes in this thing, which would be a container for like cotton pads and stuff. These would actually go up here, sorry, up here, but it doesn't fit. So I just put it down. And I have more gels in here. Over here I have some um, gel, spider gel and dip powders which are products that I don't use much. I have this little perfume that I got for review. This actually smells really good so I have it in there handy. And then here I have some funky finger polishes. These ones I need to find a rack for. I have been trying to get some from Walmart because this is like the biggest store that I have near me. And they haven't had any spice racks which I use as polish racks. But anyways, in the meantime, I'm just using a cardboard box. Oh my God. I can't believe that I'm running out of breath. Anyways, moving on. This is kind of boring and you have seen me sharing these before but on the bottom part I only keep these things that keep all the mess so pretty much I have extra soya brushes I have a nail drill and more containers to store mini size polishes this usually has all the polishes that I'm getting rid of so again when I feel like I have so many repeated shades or similar shades I'll put them in there and eventually I'll give them away to someone and right here I have some tripods and chargers and the UV lamp, which I don't use often, so I don't have it in display anymore. Oh my 
goodness. Okay, so again, we went through all this wall pretty much. I don't see, let me see. Okay, I don't see any questions about them. I mean, you know, just lots of nail polishes that I have shared with you before. Um, so we shared that part. Now let me show you the other side of the room. And if you want a more professional video, I did film one in 2020, which was really nice and still posted, but this year we're doing it live. Okay, so this is the view from whenever you come in the nail room. Let me move this. Looks doesn't look pretty. There we go. So that's the view. Alright, so let's get on this side, shall we? This is actually can you guess? Can you guess which brand is the temple of this room? Okay, you guys, I try not to push in the angels so much, but I totally love them and uh, I just wish everyone would have the chance to try them. Actually, I'll have a giveaway sometime here soon. So if you have not tried this brand, you'll get to try it. Stay tuned. Alright, so this, I don't even know what this shelf is for, but it works really nicely for all my nail polish stuff. Does it look amazing? I don't know. I like that. I got that cute canvas. It's very girly. And this is the only room in the house that I feel like I can be very girly because, you know, I'm married. <laughs> Bianca, yes, all the minis look so cute. And these are all in the angels, so they are adorable. All right, so you might be wondering why there is rubber bands on some of, some of them. I'll let you think about it for a minute and see if anyone can guess. You don't get a prize for guessing, it's just for fun. I'll tell you later, don't worry. So those are mini size Indie Angels and these are full size Indie Angel. So, <laughs> Bianca said to help open. No, that's not what they are for, but that's actually a good tip. You can do that too, but that's not what I use them for. Uh, so here we have full size. I have them sorted by brand, as you can see. So color don't really matter to me. I know sometimes I try to keep the similar colors next to each other, but in this case, it's just however, honestly. Um, so I have a bunch of Indie Angel. I have gone through so many different labels. <laughs> Brianne, you're really close. It's actually the opposite. So you're getting close there. You're getting close. Um, Indie Angel has a lot of labels. And I don't even think I can find them. These are some of the old polishes that have the black label. She also has some rose gold. And recently she made rainbow labels. So pretty fun. Well, that is Indie Angel, and I have a few Care For My Nails back here, which bottle shape is the same, but the caps are shorter, so they kind of blend in. All right, the bottom, again, because this is more easy for Selena to reach if she ever made it in here, I have some sinful colors. And these ones, excuse me, Yes, Bianca, you're right. The ones that have the rubber are the ones that I haven't worn yet. So these are usually polishes that I purchased or that I received in PR and I really like. And that besides swatching, I want to actually wear them. So there you have it. That's my tip. I think it's really helpful. You will be surprised, but I have worn most of the polishes that I have in here. So there's that. So these here, you can tell it fits perfectly. Well, this was from Walmart. I was walking in the polish aisle and the lady was throwing them away, This the person who stocked the shelves. And I knew I had a lot of simple color polishes, so I took two of these. There is just, it's just clear plastic, it's nothing fancy. But look at that, they look awesome. Over here, I have some square bottles. This brand I received from Sephora. Oops, sorry. My phone's dying. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Just. Hi, Crystal. Welcome. I know I clean the kitchen at night time too. I'm charging my phone, so here we go again. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, orientation slot. Okay, never mind. All right, so again, simple color. And these polishes I keep upside down because it's easier for me to see the color that way. If I store them up like this, all I see is the black cap. So I do the same thing with my stamping polishes. I put them upside down so I know which color is it. Uh, but this is made for nail polishes and it's so cute. And I do have some mini sizes in there, so there's that. And down here, I have a bunch of different brands. Honestly, this rack I got off Amazon. And these ones down here are some drugstore polishes and just polishes that I only have a few of. So I don't mind having them all mixed. As you can see, I have this hmm, clean color polish. I have Revlon. I have Wet n Wild. Sally Hansen. <sighs> Is anyone else bothered by how many bottles Sally Hansen has? Like, ugh, I just can't. And also, I don't really like these round, thin round polishes. So, anyways. All right, so... That is this shelf. I really like it. It looks cool. Um, so yeah, as you can notice now, um, they, the shelves are black. All my shelves are black. That's why I want to paint that little one, but I just haven't gotten into it. So, all right. So we went through all of that. Let's come to the other side. Okay. All right, how we do this? I'm trying to move the light around. That's why I'm walking around so much. All right, so that sign obviously needs updated because I actually had it before where all my indie polishes were, but they are all over the place now. So I might just put like Brenda's nail room or something. This is the bench where I usually sit to film my videos. And this is like a brush holder. And this one came from a nail salon, but I don't have that many brushes, so. I am also not big on makeup, so I can't even put makeup brushes because I only have like three. And I'm trying to get creative, trying to think what to do with it. But it's really cool because it spins. I just don't know what to use it for. But in the meantime, looks good. Now, okay, I think you guys have seen this more than enough, but this is honestly my favorite piece of the entire nail room. First off, this is really heavy. Um, so it's always challenging to find something to put it on. I used to have a bigger table in here, but it was taking too much space. So now it's sitting on a file cabinet. This is actually a beige file cabinet. And what I did was one of the like sticky stuff that you can put over furniture and stuff so it looks really nice I don't know I really like it so let's go through it I found this on Amazon I made an entire video about it so again just refer to my other videos if you have any questions um, and at the end if you need links or something just let me know on Instagram and I'll send links to you so all right so on the top we have picture polish and if you guys think my polishes are dusty, they really are. We redid our bathroom and are currently redoing our kitchen. So I have cleaned these polishes so many times that at this point I have given up. So I have all my picture polishes in here. And as you can see, obviously, I have cutie coat body. I have two refills. Oh my gosh. There we go. Down here, we have DC Lacy Lacquer, which this brand honestly came strong. I feel like this brand has so many good polishes, like so high quality. Um, you guys definitely need to try them. They have sales quite often, and I usually share the sales on my Instagram, so stay tuned for that. And then, of course, we have the Dimension Nails. Excuse me. We also have Wonder Lacquer, 
and color spectrum. So I tried to keep the square bottles in here, but you know, can be perfect. Um, Wella Beauty. Oh my gosh, these polishes are gorgeous. They are so luxurious. They are heavy. They feel really nice, and the quality is also good. I have Live Love polish, and then again the bottom rack because tiny toddlers can reach these nail polishes. I have Sally Hansen because I feel like this brand, you know, it's easy to find and I don't feel it would hurt me if Selena ever broke one of these. Um, I have another salon brand and see, Sally Hansen, I mean, stop it. They have so many bottles, not even funny. All right, so that's that. <laughs> Yes, Bianca. I'm sorry. I get the um, comments late, but I think that's how it is. And then that's my art wall. I mean, I'm a very girly girl, I guess. I'm a woman now, but hey, uh, I don't know. I love that sign. I recently found that at the Goodwill. It says better late than ugly. And that's me. All right. So if you were here at the very beginning, remember I told you that if my OPI rack ever got too full, I'll put the toppers in here because my goal for this is to get it um, all filled with toppers, especially silver ones. I did have this one, which is really fun, but I have other toppers. I don't know. I think they look look by, their, by themselves and they are easier to see. Like if I needed to add a topper, I'll do that. All right, so last but not least, Here's where all the magic happens. Ugh, I'm really bad at this. You know, I don't think I'm doing too bad for this being my first live. I think we're getting there. Okay. So, that's my desk. My desk, as you might remember, it was the opposite wall. And it just feels like it looks nicer in there, hidden, because it's too messy. But there is no way I can just keep it looking nice all the time. This is as organized as it gets. All right, so let me show you. We'll get closer again. Those things were so hard to put on the wall, like the stickers, that I will never move them ever. So I moved everything else in the room but the stickers, obviously. I have old round polishes in here. Uh, do have a few square ones and I'm not gonna get too close I, as you can see there is empty spots I hid those polishes because some of them are coming on July or August of this year polishes that I received for swatching so usually what I do is that I have been getting um, polishes like about two months ahead and I think you know what I'm talking about I don't like swatching last minute so in this case, you know, I put stickers, like the polishes that I will swatch for June would be here, but I'm pretty much caught up with those. And then I will have like July and August in here. So again, they are just handy. I can see what I need to swatch, even though I keep a list. Yes, Crystal, but I, that has been, I don't want to say it has been a struggle, but it definitely scares brands away when you want things to be sent to you two months ahead but I am no longer accepting polishes that need to be swatched next week like I have a full-time job and I'm a mom and if I'm not getting paid again it's not about money but this is a hobby for me so I don't want to be stressing about swatching if um you know I want it to be fun and I always want it to be fun so anyways I'm talking so much I'm sorry I promise I'm gonna make a video on that soon all right, so here, this is a nail dryer that I don't use because this was prior to quick drying top coats. I have been doing my nails for years, like, I don't know, so many years. Um, this came from a salon too, and this is a nice pad that I can put in here and I just paint my nails. It's really comfy, it's like squishy, I don't know. And this is pretty much my setup. This is the same setup for videos and pictures and again I have a full video on that my camera has this little flip screen so I can totally see what I'm doing while I'm filming 
I'll show you guys real quick. This is the reason why I love that my lights don't have cables because I have it on this desk and I don't have a huge cable mess in here. And then, let me show you. These batteries, you can recharge. They last so long. I probably charge these every two weeks. I don't know, even more. So, they sell the ones that you need cables. Like, they, you know, you can actually plug. But, I don't like them. So, that's my setup. This one right here, I use for whenever I'm not filming. Like, if I'm just swatching for the for fun or whatever I'll use that light because that's like yellow and I don't like that for pictures here I have all my base coats and top coats I have my favorite ever remover and hand cream and got some random stuff these pens I had for like five years and I never used them <laughs> so I have that and remover and this is key this is key. Um, I use these to, you know, put some pure acetone and then clean. So pretty much I dip the brush and then clean a little bit and then I clean around my cuticles. And that's why this is so messy, but hey. And again, this desk is dirty. Like, I am aware of that, but it will just get dirty two days from now, so I'm not even bother. Alright, so here, I'm not going to go in through all this, but I have a lot of gel things in here, which I don't use often. I have like poly gel, and you know, it's funny, when I filmed my first nail, tour, nail room tour video, all of these drawers were so nice and organized, but just keeping it real. Everything else kind of stays the same, but these drawers, they go through things. <laughs> um... This one has nail drill, which this one is really fancy. Like, you don't need to plug it. You can just charge it and then use it like it's, you know, on the go. And the mini macaroon. I don't even know. I like this one when I'm just, like, swatching. Like, um, somebody asked me to make a swatch video or something for just one nail. I will use this. Uh, but for the most part, I don't feel like it's really convenient if you actually want a gel manicure because you have to do one nail at a time and I don't I don't think that's very um, you know it's very time consuming so I have more random gel things in there down here on the other side I keep the stickers that I get I wish that every brand sent me stickers because I only have a few of them as you can see Gravity Lacquers, yet to come. So, Brianne, if you're still watching, can't wait to see what you're coming up with. Got Treasure Valley Lacquer, Damp Nail Polish, DC Lacy Lacquer. <sighs> yeah. Then, here, this is my nail care thingy. I have all the buffers, the files, cuticle removers toe separators all that this is my stamping drawer so when i first started doing nail art when i actually started my account back in like i don't know 2017 um i was obsessed with stamping and the first sets that i got were these ones by Quinn, which you now can find at walmart uh, obviously there is limited amounts at walmart but i got these off amazon and these are the best i love them but i grew out of stamping let's be honest this is all i have and i haven't purchased stamping plates in like over a year now so that's that i also got a bunch of stampers clear stamper pink stampers white stampers you name it and those are all my stamping polishes and again they are upside down because i can see the color that way so that and these are swatch sticks which i highly regret because this is i think this is so hurtful for the environment oh my gosh i had the plan to swatch all my polishes and then i thought why do i need these if i can see my polishes like i get it why people do it but 
I don't, I don't know. Like, honestly, you can see the color of the polish. All this is gel polish. I'll probably do it, but yeah. So now they are just there. I regret buying them. And then you all know, this is what I use to remove polishes. I made a video on what are my best tips for nail polish swatchers. So watch that. That's my last video, I think. Okay, so um, over here, there used to be a door. Uh, I took it off and I shouldn't have, but this is where all the things for the elevator are. But there is room for like storage too, so I'm not gonna show you that. And then here I have just some things that I need handy. You can see I have a soy polish remover by Care for My Nails, and I have a bunch of cotton pads to remove polish. And this thing, which if I need to do nail or something, that's me. <laughs> I'll use that. So yeah again if you were not here since the beginning or mid video the polishes that have the rubber bands are the ones that I have to wear not because I have to wear them because I want to because I paid for them and if I paid like ten dollars for a polish bottle I better wear it so that's the way that I know I haven't used it so you can tell that at least these ones I use for nail art even if I put them on one nail but if I wore it for four days that'll do it for me so that's just a tip I don't know you can think about it so yeah I think that's it I mean this is my nail room and I'm pretty excited about this is my happy space my happy place this is where I spend a lot of time at night after baby goes to sleep you can see we made it she didn't wake up at all even though i was talking that's selena and she's gonna be two years old on tuesday so she's she's a toddler but in my heart she'll always be a baby okay <laughs> so all right, Bianca is asking which is the favorite section of the room. Let me move this thing around. I'm carrying the ring light around because, okay, so, ugh, that's hard. I'm really proud of how the <laughs> room looks, but the favorite part, I think will be this shelf right here. It's so colorful and it holds so many polishes. And mainly it's because it has all my Indie Angel polishes. I'm obsessed. But if you were to ask me my favorite feature, um, definitely the tower. This one I like too, but I like that one a lot more. So, yeah. Oh, and actually, you might be wondering why I have these dark curtains, but I've heard that sunlight is not really good for your polishes. So the sun sets that way. So the sun is setting right now, so you can kind of see, but like straight sunlight is not making it through them. So I think my polishes are safe. And again, I've never been the one who store polishes in drawers or other things. Like they have always been on display just because they look better that way. I don't know how you guys store your polishes, but if you are able to put them on display, I think you should totally do that. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know if you guys found anything here helpful, appealing, something you would like to try. Crystal says that she needs wall shelves, and yes. Again, I only had one of those before we bought our house because we lived in a one-bedroom apartment a couple of years ago. And they don't take floor space, but they can hold a lot of polishes, so yeah. Another thing that you could do, if you have a desk, totally get one of these. I mean, there is so much room in here. Each of these um, tiers has space in the middle. Like, you can definitely put other hundred polishes in there. <laughs> okay, so... Hi, Cammie. I'm so happy to see you here. You always comment on my videos. You're the best. 
I swear to God, you have been here since the beginning and I really appreciate you. Yeah, so what I like about this round one is that each tears uh, goes individually. Unlike the other one that if I spin, the whole thing spins. And this is heavy, like, cause it has so many polishes. So sometimes I'm afraid that it will like shake or something and then they will all fall, but that's not very likely to happen. I'm pretty careful with my polishes. All right, so I don't know. I think that's it. You guys don't have any questions. I just want to say that I really appreciate you joining my live. Um, I'll get better at it. I will save these for replay. So for people that didn't make it, they can watch it later. I can't believe I have been talking for 45 minutes. <laughs> but it was fun. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your support. I really don't know what to say. Stay tuned on my Instagram because once again, I will be having Indie Angel giveaway. Let me show you. Um, Angel actually sent me an extra set of this full size just like this so once I swatch them or, or film a video I'll also have a giveaway for you guys and yeah that's it thank you so much to all of you who joined I will try this more often I was thinking about doing uh, swatch videos live I don't really know how that will go and I will see you soon. Uh, head to my Instagram. I am way more active in there because, you know, I post every day, kind of. And thank you so much. You as well have a happy weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Happy Friday. I will see you another day. Goodbye. I'll say hi to Selena. Thank you. It's just night night right now. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.